stress and the extramural stress and the transmural pressure is the difference between the intramural stress and the extramural stress so i request you to go through this paper in detail it's a very good paper it explains the interaction between the heart and the lung in a normal patient patient is spontaneously breathing a patient on mechanical ventilation and a patient with a failing left ventricle so this is a schematic representation of the cardiopulmonary interaction during spontaneous inspiration as can be seen during spontaneous inspiration the systolic blood pressure falls maybe not that much by let's say 10 to 15 mm of mercury and if it falls more it is called pulses paradoxus this fall in systolic blood pressure is due to the sum of these effects that is a increase in the left ventricular afterload a decrease in the right ventricular preload the influence of ventricular interdependence and the transmission of reduced intrathoracic extramural aortic pressure to the extrathoracic vessels and during mechanical ventilation 